We have the national grid supply, but it's uh, not very reliable. Um, it's rather epileptic. It takes so much of our money running these uh, generators. We are very excited about this intervention of uh, ROEA to help to cut down the cost of uh, uh, power. The system is um, designed not to fail in any way because we have the photovoltaic cells, we have the backup batteries, we have a hybrid system with the DGs, that's the diesel generators. When the PV fails because of this kind of weather, the batteries take over. And by the time the batteries have been getting depleted, it calls in for the DG. The DG charges the battery to a certain extent and the battery takes up again. At that point in time, the school runs on full 24 hours non-stop power supply. We are hoping that uh, the, the solar aspect will help us to be able to, uh, to provide uh, steadier power for the university. With the power generation coming in now, it's going to be a huge boost in the sense that we are going to have at least almost enough power for you know, work, basically for lectures, for lab and others. Um, the school will be illuminated and uh, everything is going to be okay. Power is a source of life, so without power, basically nothing is going to function. So it's a huge thumbs up to the government and we want to use this medium to appreciate everyone that has you know, made one or two things possible for us. The university, we can't do without electricity. In the month of June uh, 2017, in all we had only nine hours of power supply from, from the power supply. So we run nearly totally on generators, consuming a lot of diesel. Very huge financial cost to the university. The power plant comprises of a solar farm, as we can see, of one megawatt capacity. The equipment that will transform the DC power from the solar farm has been completely installed. Uh, right now, even the transformers, the production transformers have also been installed and interconnected. The distribution uh, network is also in place. Distribution substations, about four number distribution substations are also in place. People will be able to freely walk to places within the university community uh, by the reason of the provided uh, street lights. Now that the government has decided to, to put lights for us, it's going to help us in so many ways. We will have light throughout the night, we can read our books, we can come to school and read. ICT will no longer have the problem of Nepal taking light, we can write exams and so. I look forward to also being able to have some other things beyond providing the technical facilities to also be able to impact on the mentalities and attitudes of people towards energy. That old era of some, some distance Nepal should gradually fade away. Uh, some times ago, we used to get an average of three hours of power per day. The amount of money we spent in paying for the, uh, the power bills is quite high. Uh, currently, it averaged over 30 million naira per month. In addition to the payment for power, we have to purchase diesel, service generators, and so on. For the period when uh, we do not have uh, power. This is great innovation to the school and to the nation. Say. If it depends on normal, normal electric light, it's difficult for students, especially when it's time for exam. But now that the solar is here, I can read well. To be honest, there is like level of insecurity in some parts of places. You will find that the places that is dark, some people used to hide there in order to stop students. But due to the fact they bring this street light, those places have been bright now. There is no need of any criminals to hide under that place to do any illegal acts. Educating the next generation is key. Making them feel safe and secure in their campuses 
and I, I don't even think we know what the knock-on effects of this will be until we start doing it. We have nine universities and one teaching hospital planned for the first phase, but in total we plan to do 37 universities and seven teaching hospitals. And I'll take this note to thank NERC because they've just given us all the permits to allow us to do all the universities. I want to thank the federal government for helping us and giving us this kind of uh, opportunity and investing in our school. From BUK, we say thank you.